Hello there everyone, this is Lilith with another video for All to New. Have you ever wondered how you can use All to New's 3D embossing folders and integrate them into a scrapbook layout? Well, today I will show you how you can create a really fun and simple look with this product. So sit back and enjoy. <music> So I love Altenews 3D embossing folders and they are my new favorite product to use. I use them quite a lot on cards and a lot less on scrapbook layouts. So today I wanted to show you a quick and easy way you can use them on a scrapbook layout. So I'm going to cut out a lovely piece of patterned paper and I'm going to use the Blooming Through the Seasons 3D embossing folder, which is from the Craft Your Life a subscription. You can use any embossing folder for this. So I've just pulled this through my uh, embossing machine and then I can pull out the paper and you can see. You can put it in either right direction um, and now I'm going to add a bit of color so that those lovely 3D elements pop out a little bit more. I'm using Volcano Lake which is a very similar color to the cardstock I'm using and this will just bring out the design in uh, this 3D embossing folder. So now that I've got that down, I'm going to cut off the edges so that I have a clean finish and I can start working on building up my layout. You can see this is very easy to do. And if you don't create layouts, you could just stop here and use this background to create a card. I used the Wildflower Scrapbook Collection and cut out a piece of paper, which is eight and a half by 11. And I'm going to start arranging my elements on here, trying to see how I can incorporate the different pattern papers I picked, uh, etc. I'm going to add a border beneath um, the embossed paper and I'm just cutting out this lovely black and white striped paper. As you can see, I cut out my photo just to make it fit in that little gap on the embossed piece of cardstock. And I think it works really well. I usually don't cut out my photos, but sometimes I do if the photo fits, um, fits the scene. Here I'm going, I'm having a look through all uh, the embellishments from the Wildflower Collection and just picking out a couple of flowers to create my little clusters. Once I've got those on the paper, and I'm really sorry, I should have move, moved my <laughs> layout up a little bit, I can start gluing them down and adding the title. I'm going to use these lovely uh, alphabet stickers from Altenew as well. I will give, I will link up all the products used in the blog post as well as below in the description box. I wonder how do you use your 3D embossing folders? I'm always looking for new ideas, so please pop that, pop that in the comment section as well. So once I've got everything in place, I can start gluing everything down and then I'll add a couple of finishing touches like maybe some doodled elements. So there you have it. The layout is nearly complete. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want more information on all the products used, don't forget to visit the Mixed Media blog. Have a lovely day and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye. crafters i hope you enjoyed that video if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything thanks for watching